Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're going to make a Swedish torch, which basically is a log that we've cut off. We're going to create a hole down the center of it and a vent hole in the side. We're going to cook our dinner on it. Let me show you how it's done. There's a lot of deadfall in the area that we're camping, and so we found this log that's dead and been sitting on the ground for a long time. We're just going to cut it to the length that we want, and then I'll show you how to split it. It's a bit of work, but we got her done. Now the next part of the job is to go ahead and split our log into four pieces. So I'm just going to use my hand axe, and rather than going ahead and, and hitting on that I, for safety reasons, I'm going to put the axe there and just use another little log here to drive it through. Once we've got the axe set in the log, we're going to just pick it up and use that whole weight of that to try and split it. Okay, we'll just take one of these pieces and you can see the sharp part here. We're going to cut that off and create a hole. So we'll do that on all three of the pieces so that we have a vent hole down the middle. Let's do that part. That's splitting off nicely. Just right. Put those together. You can see the little vent hole that we've created here. Now let's do it to the other piece. All right, now let's set that together. Now you can see we've created a nice vent hole for the top. Now we're going to cut one into the side to meet that. Because we've got our saw here, we'll just take advantage of that rather than try and carve a notch. Now that we finished that, just going to measure up to see where we're supposed to match up with the next one. I can see I've got a little marker here and here. So I'll put my hand there and we'll start sliding there. Okay, let's see how this matches up. We'll put it together there. Not too bad. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can start a fire in there and get something going for dinner. Now we need to make sure that our logs stay together. So you can either do that with some kind of a, a twine. Uh, you can put some rocks around the base to hold them together. If you need to dig a little bit of a pit, slide it down in there. That works too. But really the idea is just to make sure that it's stable. So I'm going to use some cord. A simple square knot will do it. Now we're ready to go. So we're of course going to start this without a match. I brought a little bit of dryer lint from home. We're going to start that with a spark. And we found some nice dry bark. We're going to make that into some good kindling, put it in there and spark it up. Let's see if we can start it. Get that nice and fine. Put that down in the top. We're going to start with some dryer lint. Just tip that over. And see if we can hit that with a spark and get it going. Let that burn down. Catch our kindling. Now that we've got a flame coming out of there, it's going to continue to burn the log and get hotter and hotter. We've just found a couple of rocks that are about the right size. We'll position those around. Here's our dinner pan. If you remember a few videos ago, this was total rust 
and we did a reconditioning and you can see how nice that is. We'll set that there and get ready for dinner. We hope that you'll try this and enjoy it. And we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.